Hello guys. So in this video, I will show you the process I did in making a logo design as you can see in the thumbnail. Maybe you don't know me, so let me introduce my name is Ramith Adeguna and a logo designer from KKGP or Kakoi Graphics. You can see the details of my design work in the link in the video description. So yesterday, I was contacted by someone to make a logo design for an organization that works in the electricity sector. They asked to create a logo that was fierce, scary, and had an electric element like lightning. Besides that, they asked for the logo to be shaped like a bird typical of the area where they work. This special bird is called the Sindrawasi bird. After understanding all the briefs, I immediately sketched it first, because the request wanted it to be like a sports logo, so I made a mascot logo concept. Here I use an application called Procreate, and I immediately made it. There are several steps that I did in making the sketch. In the first stage, I tried to outline first by imagining what the pose of the bird would look like. Here I thought of two poses that I would later realize in the sketch. So, what you need to know when making a mascot logo are a thick outline and firm object poses, and if possible keep the details to a minimum, but the silhouette of the primary mascot logo remains clear and legible. After the outline is ready, I immediately give the color and rough shading to see the volume and clarity of the logo shape. I just make the color and shading in gray because this is only to realize the rough idea that is in my imagination as a designer. To make a mascot logo, you need to be good at drawing so you can get a logo illustration that is simple, solid, and can be called a solid logo design. But for friends who are not good at drawing, this is not a hindrance. Nothing comes by itself without reason, so if you want to be able to do it, practice and prioritize consistency. I also started from zero, so keep the spirit. We can all achieve what we strive for. Okay, let's focus again on the sketch process. Here I have made two sketch designs. One in this pose and the other in a flying pose holding the lightning element. After I submitted it to the client, the chosen design was this. Because it was received immediately, I sketched in Adobe Illustrator for the process of tracing the sketch to vector. The steps I did in the tracing process were more or less the same as the steps I did in the sketching process. So first let's create an artboard with a size of 3000 by 300 pixels. Then we drag the sketch to the artboard that we have created. Set the position and I reduce the opacity so that during the tracing process I can do it easily later. The logo sketch is symmetrical between the left and right so I place a guide in the middle of the logo. The use of making a guide that is placed in the center of this logo is to be my benchmark in carrying out the tracing process for a logo design that is symmetrical between the two sides of the logo. I do tracing starting from one part of the logo then copying and pasting all the tracing and placing it on the other side like this. After the outline is finished, I immediately create a new layer and place it under the layer from the results of tracing the outline earlier. This layer will be the layer for the color and shading of the logo. I started making it by tracing the shading first in a section like this. After all the shading is done, I start to make the basic color. Why like this? I started with the shading first because if I made it from the base color first it would cover it from the whole sketch and later I would have a hard time making a copy of the logo shading from the sketch.
After that I blocked all the outline layers and color layers then I copied and pasted them in front and pressed unite in the pathfinder section to unite everything into one shape. I will make the shape later to be an offset from the outline like the shape we have just united before. To object then the path and then select offset path. But I have made a shortcut for the command by simply pressing the F2 key. Then I set it according to my wishes. Because next to the logo there is a lightning effect, I traced it too using the pen tool. For the vector process, everything is finished, so here is the result of the design. Then here are some previews of the mock-up design. 